In SAP S4 HANA the maintenance and validation of foreign currency exchange rates is done using two Fiori applications. Import foreign exchange rates, which allows you to upload a list of exchange rates. And currency exchange rates, which allows you to check imported exchange rates and manually delete or create new rates. These apps replace the customizing transaction OB08 that used to update exchange rates in SAP ECC. This transaction remains accessible in SAP S4 HANA, but is not recommended if you are using the Fiori user interface. Let's take a look at the Import Exchange Rates application. The first steps are to download an Excel template to maintain exchange rates. The rates can be quoted directly or indirectly. The quote is direct when the price of a unit of foreign currency is expressed in terms of the domestic currency. The quote is indirect when the price of a unit of the domestic currency is expressed in terms of the foreign currency. Which type you use depends on the market standard and your business needs. In Europe, indirect rates are widely used. You can download current and historical indirect rates from the European Central Bank website. For example, as a PDF or CSV file. The next step would be to import the rates into the downloaded XLSX template. Based on the rates as of February 14, 2023, I have prepared two Excel files. One with indirect, and one with direct rates, to show you the difference. To import indirect rates, you need to set the local currency, Euro for our headquarters, as the from currency and put an X in the quotation column. You must also specify the exchange rate type, the to currency, and the effective date of the rate. To import direct exchange rates, the local currency is set as the to currency. Here we have USD as the local currency of a subsidiary in the United States. You also need to specify the exchange rate type, the effective date of the exchange rate, and the translation factors. I won't go into the details of the exchange rate type and the translation factors, because their use is the same as it was in SAP ECC. Let's upload the rates. All rates are loaded correctly. If the source data were technically incorrect, you would receive an error or warning message. Once the import is completed, the rates can be validated in the currency exchange rates application. You can filter them by rate type. Validity period. Validity date and select the from into currencies. All rates except one have been imported correctly. The rate marked in red is incorrect because the rate type set in customizing for this currency pair is direct, and we have loaded an indirect rate. 
In this case you have two options, either correct the quote type to direct in the Excel file and reload it, or correct it to indirect in customizing. In our case the customizing setting is not correct, so we change it in the transaction defined standard quote for exchange rates. After setting the correct quote type, we refresh the view in the currency exchange rates application, and see that the error has been resolved. From here you can export rates to a spreadsheet. Delete rates. or create new ones manually. Here is an example for the currency pair Polish Zloty and Euro. You enter the rate type, and the from, and to currency. The rate type and the ratio are automatically filled in from customizing. The new exchange rates are saved. As you can see, both applications simplify the handling of exchange rates and provide a more comfortable user experience, compared to transactions in SAP ECC. Do you agree or disagree? Leave a comment below this video.